Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a short video. I am going to show you how to make your thin, short, weak lashes look like some falsies. Well, okay, so maybe not falsies, but like they exist. What my eyes look like right now, this is actually what they are going to look like completed. So when I found this routine, I've been sharing it with you guys on social media and you guys were like, okay, show us exactly what it is. And that's what I do today. And keep in mind, this is for a girl with little to no lashes. And yeah, this is doing a lot. Okay, so this is for my weak lash girls. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned some tips and tricks uh, on how to you know, make the most out of the lashes that you have. So if you want to see how to go from thin, weak lashes to full existing lashes, then keep on watching the video. What's up? I have you nice and close so I can show you exactly what I do to my lashes. So the secret trick for me, if you have those thin downward facing lashes, they're sparse, they're long, but you can't tell they're long because they're facing downwards. I mean, I honestly, I wouldn't even say mine are long, but this eyelash curler has legit changed my life. It's the Shiseido eyelash curler. And the reason why this works so well is because it gets so close to the root and allows it to, you know, make them curl up. Now, when I do this, you can totally do the method where you start bottom, middle, top, right? So it's like a nice curl, but I don't have enough eyeball hair to do that or eyelashes. So I just go as close to the root as possible. And then this duo is what I've been using lately. Get a good eyelash curler. That is the key. And also if you have downward facing lashes, I know how much we all hate waterproof formula mascaras because they are a pain in the ass to get out but that is the magic ticket in what keeps your lashes nice and curled. So, I have two different mascaras here. The two that I have is this uh, Lancome Monsieur Big, and it's in the waterproof formula. You do not have to use this one in particular, any waterproof formula in the mascara that you have in like a drugstore brand, because I'm a firm believer that a drugstore uh, mascara is just as wonderful as a high end. You can definitely find a comparable option, but I will say this high end mascara, which is the new Hourglass Caution, this is not sponsored by the way. I just received it in PR and have been absolutely loving it since I received it. It just, the formula of it adds so much length and volume to my lashes. It's just incredible. And it's in one formula. So usually when I use this, I have to use like a microfiber lash uh, duo, which the one by Wet n Wild is one of my favorites and it's so affordable and it works absolutely bomb. I can do a drugstore version of this if you guys would like, but lately this is just what I've been using and it's these two products together. So now, I am going to do one eye at a time just so you can see the full effect. Going to curl my lashes with the Shiseido Lash Curler. Now if you can see that, like the difference that that already made just between these so you can actually see them now. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna take first the waterproof formula. The reason why you wanna put a waterproof formula down first is because if you have those lashes that are thin and sparse, uh, you have to have a base that's going to keep them standing up, if that makes sense. You can't just go straight into a normal mascara and expect it to stay. I don't know why, but a waterproof formula forces it to stay up. It's basically like hairspray for your lashes. And I really like this mascara, like if you can see already, it separates those fine little lashes that I have so great while also having that waterproof formula so it keeps them up high. And also a trick is if you have to layer mascaras like I do in order to get the full length and volume, you have to let it dry. So let your first layer dry before you go in with your second coat to pile it on because that just makes it weigh down even more if you don't allow the layers to dry. I'll just do one solid layer of this. Like even with this mascara alone, I feel like we're doing great. Like look at the difference in that. 
I'll let this dry and then I'm going to put the second layer, the Hourglass Caution, and so you can see the difference between the two of them. All right, we have the first mascara nice and dry. Now we're going to go in with the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I love this stuff. I've been using it like crazy since I've gotten it. And this, I like to concentrate on the very tips of it just to give it a little more length. Look, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's adding like, I don't know, some serious damn length. And I don't need any really mascara at the base of my lashes. I just need it on the ends. So that's where I am putting the product. And that is it. Look at that. Do you guys see that? The length that it gave? And I know what you're thinking. You're like, okay, uh, now you just have some spidery ass looking lashes. Well, honey, if you were, if you had my lashes and you freaking are saying that and you have the most amazing natural lashes in the world, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> and I don't actually hate this. I feel like they're not that bad. And then I will let that dry and then I will curl them again. So this is for my girls who get the struggle, who, you know, this is a lot for you. <laughs> So let's do the same to the other side. I just wanted you to see that. And when this dries, I'll actually go in and I'll comb them out if I need to. I'll curl them again so they'll be higher. And yeah, that's what we got. All right, and for the next side, I won't be talking or anything. I will just uh, fast forward it so you can see it again. All right, and this is what they look like when they're done. I'll go in and comb them out, and you know, if I have an area that needs a little more, I'll go ahead and do that, but yeah, man, if you went from, you know, looking like this to getting a little bit of lashes, then it's great. It's also uh, a good thing if you have short little lashes like this, wear less makeup on like, if you're gonna rock your lashes. If you wear less eye makeup, then your lashes look more, you know, like they exist. <laughs> but yeah, that is how I make my short week lashes look much longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up for more short videos like this. I hope it was short. Watch it be like 10 minutes long. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you.